All right, so we got our GPU installed. We plugged all the video in, unplugged all the USBs except for the mouse and keyboard and the internet. This down here is just audio. Power supply is plugged in. Time to turn it on and install Windows. So for installing Windows, we're gonna put it directly into the motherboard. It always does this when you uh, boot from the power supply being off. It always does like a little shutdown first. Mashing delete to get into BIOS. Delete, 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 delete. Show me the BIOS. We have to tell the computer to boot to our USB. So will allow us to install Windows. All right, as you can see, we're in the BIOS. We now need to go over to boot. And right now, oh, it is actually set to boot to Windows. That's good. Oh no, wait. Oh no, that's Windows Boot Manager on our Samsung 250. We need to change it to this Kingston here. So it's recognizing the 250 gig SSD, which is my old Windows. And it's recognizing the Pioneer. That's the disk drive, okay. So those are the two we, we left plugged in. But it's not showing any of the new drives. Okay, well, I'm going to boot to Windows and or the Kingston, and hopefully that works. Is it going to go to Windows? Come on. Oh, I think it worked. It did. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Next. Install now. Now, how do you know? You better let me choose where to install. Oh, um, I, I don't think this is my product key, but it might be. You need to enter a valid Windows product key. I don't know if it's going to work, but this is my product key for Windows 7 Pro on disk. That's how old this is. Back when I built my FX8350 in like 2013. Oh, it went through. Okay, custom file settings and applications aren't moved to Windows with this option. If you want to make changes to partitions and drives, start the computer using installation disk. Oh, here we go. So what is drive zero? Is that, that's my 250 gig, okay. And then drive one and drive two are the two new M.2s, the one terabyte and the 512, and then this one, drive four, I guess because drive three is the disk drive, is my other M.2 that has my crap on it. I'm formatting my old C drive. We're doing it. We did it. And this is my other old one. All my old sh**. We're going to format that. I want this, this one. Drive one, 950 gigs, is the one terabyte NVMe M.2. So we're gonna use this one for Windows. And do I have to say new, or can I just say make it the max? To ensure that all Windows features work correctly, Windows might create additional partitions, okay. Let's just not f around, let's just install Windows right now. Drive one, partition three, 950, which is the one terabyte M.2. Here we go. All right, this is gonna take a while, so we'll check back when it's finished. A few moments later. That was actually a lot quicker than I thought. This is for personal use. I skipped that. I've never seen that screen before. Oh, are we going to the main monitor? Hopefully. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. All right, we made it further than last time, so it's gonna do its last final setup steps and then we'll be done, hopefully. Connect the other three hard drives and we'll be, just have to install all our programs and everything. All right, and we're done. That was very quick. All right, well, that, that about does it for me. I have to now plug in the other three hard drives. We'll make sure that works, no problem. And we have to install everything. We have to customize this because I can't stand when it's like this. Ugh. This, gotta go there. This, gotta go there. Man, there's a lot of things I gotta change. I gotta figure out ultimate performance mode. Alright, yep. We'll take care of that.
we'll check back soon. All right, just a quick update. We did some messing around with the drives. We got the letters in order. We got the names right. So just to give you guys a little update, this is where we're currently at. I don't know if this is how it's gonna stay, but we have our C drive as Windows, obviously. E drive is gonna be our Adobe cache drive. I'm gonna have the whole 500 or 450 gigs, whatever it is available, specifically for Adobe cache, so we never have to worry. The other uh, 500 gig M.2 is the assets. That I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put all different types of uh, any files that I'm currently working on in After Effects will go in the Assets folder. And we have Projects at the bottom. That's going to be, I guess, just stuff that I'm recently finished working on. Uh, that's the 250 gig SSD. I still haven't fully figured out if this is the way it's going to stay, but for now, this is where we're at. So now it's time to shut the computer down, and we're going to plug in our three hard drives and make sure those are all organized and good all done should be good to go all right we can put the door on i always call it a door but it's a side panel or a side window <laughs> it's not a door it's a window easy peasy all right hopefully we don't have any funny business And they're all there. Good. Thank God that was no trouble. As you can see, we have our Windows Drive, our cache, assets. I changed one to extra. Storage, projects, and more projects. I'm gonna have to obviously rework those, but man, we got a lot of storage now. Never gonna run out. Well, never say never, but we have plenty of storage now. We won't have to worry for quite some time.